Hi everybody! Welcome to We Creatives as we celebrate Chinese New Year. My name is Ailish and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper lantern decoration. As part of Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival, many countries use lanterns as a symbol of light and good luck for the coming year. The things you'll need for today's craft are a paper or card in your chosen colour. I'm going to use red because in China this colour means luck and happiness. You'll also need some paint or pens or pencils or something that you can use to decorate your card. Mm, maybe some glitter or some stickers would be cool too. Other things you'll need are some string or ribbon, scissors, a glue stick or sticky tape, and you'll also need your grown-up helper. Start by decorating your paper however you like. I'm going to use, I've got black and gold pens to draw on mine, but you could use paint or glitter if you like. And you can choose whatever pattern you want to. Once you have decorated your piece of paper, I've done mine here, we're going to cut this into eight strips. Now you could either measure along with a ruler and use a pencil to make some lines and then cut along the lines. Or you could fold your piece of card into half and then into quarters and then into eighths. It is up to you. And then just cut along the sections so that you get your nice eight equal strips. Once you've cut your paper into the eight strips, it's time to make the lantern shape. So, start by laying out one strip. You want the decorated side face down for this, so I'm going to flip over my pattern to face the table so we've got the plain side facing up. Add a dab of glue to one end and then carefully add the next strip on to help. So I'll show you what this is going to look like. I'm going to put this piece over here. The daub of glue is going at one side, at one end. Then I'm bringing in my next strip of card. Again I'm going to flip that over so that it's patterned side down and I'm going to glue that carefully onto my first strip. So that's now one long piece. Then we're going to add a daub of glue onto the top of that strip and again bring in the next piece of card, flip it over so it's patterned side down. This time this is going to go up this way. We're going to end up, once we add our, our fourth strip, so that's one, two, three, once we've got our number four we're going to have a cross shape. So here's number four coming in now. Flip it over and then we need our daub of glue on top here. And number four strip goes down. So we're halfway there with our gluing and sticking. So we've done our first strip, our second strip, our third strip, our fourth strip. Number five's coming in. Here it is. And we're going to put that one here. So we're now making more of a star shape. Can you see that? Let's see. So, daub of glue again. And strip number five goes between. So it's going on a diagonal line. Can you see that? So we've got our cross. And now we're going to fill in the gaps of our cross. So once you've stuck all of those strips down, you should have a star shape that looks like this. I've added a bit of sellotape on top of my glue just so that it stays nice and strong. If I flip it over, we've got our pretty pattern on one side. The next step is to get the other ends of the star and connect those just in the same way as we did with the first side. So I'll show you how that's going to happen now. So we're now going to do the same with the other end. So I'm going to first of all take one strip and fold it over like this. Add a daub of glue to the end. And again, fold the one that's opposite across to meet it and stick that down. 
Again, if you wanted to, you could use sticky tape as we go. I'm going to stick just with glue for now and then I'll maybe sticky tape at the end to keep it all in place. Okay, so that's two of them joined together. I'm going to do the ones at the side now. I'm going to add a bit of sticky tape just to the top just to keep our strips of paper in place and hold our nice ball shape. So I'm just going to pop a top piece at the top and a second piece just across this way and that'll just keep it all nice and stuck down. So once you've done all of that sticking you should have a lantern shape that looks like this. So we've got our strips with our pretty pattern but we've also got our gaps where we can see through to the middle. Now we're going to add on a piece of string or ribbon so that we can hang this up. So I've got some string here that's got some nice gold thread through here so that looks quite festive for Chinese New Year. Um, but you can use anything you like, you can use normal string, you can use ribbon, um, whatever you've got at home. What I'm going to do is thread this through. I think what we'll do is we will put it through one gap at the side thread it right the way through the middle and bring it out through one of the gaps at the other side. So let's give that a go. So I'm just popping that inside, I'm going to thread it through, bring it out the other side and we've got our piece of ribbon here. So that's going to be able to hang like this. Then you just need to tie the ribbon just at the top. Once you've added that string you should have your Chinese lantern all ready to hang up as a decoration for Chinese New Year and I think you could make lots of these in different colours, you could use different patterns and you could even make them in different sizes. You can make them different sizes by cutting your strips thinner or using longer strips to make a bigger lantern if you like. So I hope you have lots of fun making these at home and we'll see you back soon at We Creatives.